Hello, my name is Arthur and in this video we're going to just review the settings for rendering isometric images. So we're going over the camera settings because in my videos I don't want to explain each and every video how to set up the camera for isometric. So we're just going to work off of the default scene here and look at how to set up the camera and just some general settings for rendering. We're not going to do lighting. Um, what I have to say about lighting is when you're making assets for a game, you want to consider your light angle and keep them consistent. Keep that consistent between one graphic in the next that way when the graphics are added to a scene the lighting doesn't look all confused the, it gives the impression of a light source in a particular place casting a shadow onto a particular side of the different elements of the game so that's lighting when we're rendering an animation or a graphic it's best to have the graphics entered on the origin and the cursor will also need to be snapped to the origin. So we want to use Shift S cursor to world origin because the camera and lighting typically are going to be revolving around the cursor. So for them to revolve around the subject, um, the cursor needs to be centered and the subject needs to be centered in the image frame. So for the camera settings, well, first off, we want to pick our render engine. I tend towards using cycles. And then we want to come into film and enable transparent because we want the alpha channel and a transparent background behind whatever graphic we're rendering. For the camera location, I generally put it at a 7 on X and a minus 7 on Y to begin with and that exact number is not specific it could be 10 it could be 8 it's not really that important its X rotation is set to 60 degrees so it's looking 60 degrees up from pointing down which is 30 degrees down so the camera is looking 30 degrees down or 60 degrees up. And that's the standard isometric view angle for um, for a tile set that's isometric with a 2 to 1 ratio. Um, what that means is that we'll have 2 times the width of the height. And that's how that translates. And when we set the camera into the proper camera type, that becomes far more clear. So when we take it from perspective and put the camera into orthographic, the two to one ratio is very clear to see in, in the Blender grid. So we set our camera to orthographic type. Orthographic scale is used to zoom in and out of the field of view. Now the last angle on the camera with it equal distant from X and Y, meaning it's the same distance here and here off of X and Y, we need this angle on Z to be 45 degrees. Now the camera is pointing a 45 degree angle when it needs to be. Um, if we rotate the camera, we're going to rotate the camera and the light around the z-axis. So we go rotate z45. Well, that didn't work because it's not rotating around the 3D cursor. So we set the rotation pivot point to the 3D cursor. Rotate z45. Now the camera is pointing at a 90 degree angle up the x-axis. Or, well, it's at a 90 degree angle from the y-axis looking up the x-axis. Um, that's how the rotation is accomplished to get the 
image centered vertically, we simply use the height of Z on the camera. And I don't have things selected correctly there to be doing that. So we just have the camera selected. We use Z to center. We want to, if we're running an animation, we want to know that the animation is going to stay inside of the frame. So we would kind of run through our animation to see that it stays in the frame. Um, yeah, I believe that's pretty much all of what we need to know. We can put on things like composition guides to see the center if that's helpful for certain models it may be helpful to be able to see the center and sometimes I use the composition guides and sometimes not so that's it for the render settings we pretty much are just deciding on what resolution we want to make our graphic and in the next video we'll look at another isometric character animation for something along the lines of an RTS. So that'll be in another video and until then, take care.